the Samoon S1 from Creality. Should we give it another challenge today? How about this? Is this going to be good enough, do you think? It's a little drill press. I bought it for putting uh, inserts into um, 3D printed pieces. Think you can do it? Spoiler alert, I've already done it once and it does it a treat. So, if you want to see me set up and see the way I did it, stick around. Hello, I'm Charlie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be scanning this. It's like a little drill press. But I set it up to have a soldering iron in there and it was basically uh, used for pressing the threaded inserts into 3D printed parts. It worked quite well. But I thought, let's see if I can scan it. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, I think, with this uh, with this crown here. That's going to have to be sprayed. There's a bore there that's going to uh, maybe have to have a bit of spray inside it. But that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. And it's quite tall as well. So, do I absolutely drown it in marker dots? Or do I, uh, I scatter them on it? I don't think I want to drain it in marker dots. I think I want to put things around the edge of it. And then maybe flip it over and scan it again in a different position. But first of all, I'm just going to have to sort out a couple of things. If you look at this handle here, it wobbles. So that's going to be no good because obviously if I scan it in the one place and then move it over and it wobbles, it's just not going to be right. So I'm going to have to temporarily just put a, maybe an extra washer under there. And, and under there just to hold that in place uh, and then cover it in spray and so uh, you ain't going to want to watch me put a couple of washers on and cover it in spray so I'll go and get on with that off camera and then I'll bring you back when I put it all set up to go okay so I'm almost set up now for scanning I've got my little shields there around the outside of it and I've just got to put some few things a bit further up so what I'm going to use I'm going to use these little, uh, these little markers here. And they've got a magnet in them. So, I can just put a few of them on the, on the top here. And a few on the base. First thing as normal is the old uh, global marker scan. really does scan these quickly, these global markers. Especially when you're at a point like this and you're down the bottom and you want to start to include the ones at the top. It just gets them in. Come down the drill press to get the ones in at the bottom. Nice and steady all the way around, just to make sure I've got everything in. Come down at a low angle to get some of them dots underneath. I really must count these one of the days. And the way I'm going to scan this, now I've done the global marker, I'm going to do it in cross lines to start with, get as much in as I can. Then I'll probably go on to a single line then, just to try and fill in the little bits that I'm missing in that bore there, around some of these little corners, these little nooks and crannies. Okay, so cross lines, and let's start. Look at that, straight away. Straight away going to blow. Which is always a good sign. Come round to the front. Now, I don't think for one second it could have been anywhere near as good as this without the marker spray. But, that's what it's for. It's a useful tool. It's there for a reason, so let's use it. Look at that, it's pulling that in pretty good. Thank you. 
Let's have a look where we are then, let's see which, uh, which bits we need to tidy up. Okay, so, pretty good up there, but maybe we could do a bit more down there. A little bit more around this bit here, where that one particular mark is hiding things. Let's try and get in that bore there with the, uh, the single line. Let's just see if I can get in them, them pupil little pieces then with a single line scanner. So we'll go single. And we'll go with zoom. Zoom in just so I can see it. Look at that. Look at the way that's pulling that in. Bit here. Let's pull that in well. I'll just go over the rest of it now then. Just to see if I can tidy up some edges. This single line laser is just brilliant for just filling in these gaps. And we've got some gaps at the back here now. Let's see if we can get these filled in. I think I've got a fair bit of that now. It's going to be a decent scan that is. We've finished that then. And I'll now set up with a second scan. Global marker again, because I've moved everything. Let's put all them global markers in. Same method as before, then cross lines and then I'll go for the single line to fill the gaps. Now I've got the majority of this on the other one. But there are bits that I can't get. The base being one of them. around these edges but to get a scan that's going to join I obviously don't just need the base I need a fair bit of the rest of it as well so we can use it for alignment purposes so let's see if I can get this base in there then Underneath the uh, the bore there. Go for this side as well. Get underneath that. Okay, let's have a look at that. So there's bits of the underneath of that which I haven't got, but I'll have them on another scan. And I have actually removed the markers as well now from there. So this now will should repair the bits I've cut out. So let's get the single line on there then see if I can tidy up that. The single line on this scanner absolutely blows me away every time I use it. The secret with it is to be slow and precise. And keep your eye on the screen as well, because when you can see a green line, it's scanning. When it goes red, it means you're either too close or maybe too far away or a lens is hidden. But nice and slow and steady and it really does get into the nooks and crannies of trait. Brilliant. I've just fast forwarded the process in here but basically I'm using the lasso tool here to select the junk from the outsides and delete it away. I'm taking rid of the markers here off the, uh, the actual object itself. I don't worry too much that I take a little bit of the meat away because the other scan when it's joined together will, uh, will fill those little holes hopefully. 
that's one scan done, took a bit off the base. The next scan did exactly the same here, take the junk away from the outside of the last two tool and delete it. And that should be about it, then just a bit more off the back so I can now merge it. So let's get to fusion then, scan one and scan two. Let's fuse these. 0.5. Okay, so these were fused as you noticed at uh, 0 0.5. I thought because the thing's probably best part of 15 inches of, I thought half a millimetre would be enough for the accuracy. So let's get to processing now, then let's get to the line, see if these things can align, auto align. Select the turn, let's have a look what it does. There we are, that looks pretty good. Let's exit that. We've got a bad finish here. Now that, I think, because of this here being a bad finish so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to scan 2 and I'm going to delete that to the surface and I delete that we should have a good surface there now Okay, so the little bit of a schoolboy error here then now on this is because I took that chunk of that one scan if I now hide the top scan that's what I'm left with now with this software I can't go backwards now that's gone forever that bit I took off there was a little bit too much I read it's gone forever there's no control Z or control Z as they say in America there's none of that that's gone forever now. The only way to get that back now is to rescan it, which I'm obviously not going to do. Now with the Revo Point software that I use, you could basically say, oh, forget all the edits and go back to the Point Cloud and you bring it all back. So you take a little bit too much off and you can save the day with the Revo Point software, but not with this. Revo Point is non-destructive editing of the Point Cloud. This, once it's gone, it's gone. So, let's go with what we've got. Mesh. Let's mesh that at 5 million because I like that number. And there we are. So let's push it out to a uh, mesh mixer and have a look how it looks in that. Okay, so here we are in mesh mixer then with the drill press. Let's have a look around this scan. Look at that. It's great, isn't it? Considering that was chrome, look at that's come out now. There may a bit of spray on it. It's perfect. A few little holes, which is has to be expected. It's gone under there well, though, hasn't it? Look at that. The bore. That single line. Perfect. All those angles. Round that metal. A little bit in there which I probably didn't spend too much time on with the single line. Underneath the back. And that hinge. The base. Now if I go underneath the base, this is where I made that cock up look when I took away too much. But at least I got the edges. At least I got what the edges look like here, look. So I took away too much at the end. Once you've deleted a little bit, it's gone. It's gone forever. So what could we do with that now then? We could pull that into CAD. We could design something to go in there, couldn't we, to hold a drill of different sizes. We'd know what the clearance is around here. Maybe that, uh, maybe use that screw hole there for something to, uh, to mount to it. We could look at the base. We know where the mounting holes would be in the base, but for a jig of some description, perfect. In fact, in a future video, I might do that. I've got a Dremel. I might make something in CAD to put my Dremel into there. And then I could use that as a tiny little drill press. 
So in conclusion then, the Creality Samoon S1 has scanned this an absolute treat. We needed the spray, we needed the extra markers, but we've put nothing on it, which is what I like to do. I like to use my markers when you've used them, finish with them, chuck them back in the box, fetch them out next time. I don't like putting them on there because as I say, you end up putting them on a bit of a curved area. They don't, they don't disappear properly sometimes. I knew it was going to be a little bit tricky, and it was, but it managed it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. There is going to be more to come. More to come with my Creality Auto Light Scanner. More to come with the Metro X. And, uh, and more to come with the Samoon S1. So, until the next time, thanks for watching.